Hello everybody. Today I'd like to demonstrate to you a Sony TCWR965S. Uh, this is the latest high-end Sony double or twin cassette deck which has been released for Japanese market. Uh, in other parts of the world this model uh, was known as a Sony TCWA9ES. So, and the difference were like small, but at the same time, uh, very like interesting. From what I figured out, the only difference was uh, automated recording level control. And that's what I will demonstrate to you today. So calibration and automated rec level. These are the two main features for this deck. So in total, this deck has seven motors. Three motors for each deck, like capstan motors, real motors, and like uh, operation motor or mod motor. And like uh, one motor for rec level control. So let's start the demo. This deck has a pretty nice large display, which beautiful and uh, helps clearly see. Here is a hidden set of additional controls. So let's do our calibration and level demo. Uh, so we insert cassette into the deck, closing the valve. And to start calibration, uh, we need to click auto calibration for a particular deck. And then we need to select direction and click pause to start calibration. So this is a similar to multiple Sony a double deck or, double, or twin deck, twin cassette decks. And as it has just like a rise and record playback has combined, so it has to record them playback recording to understand what our calibration levels are required for this tape. So that's about calibration. You see it shows a red light right here that auto calibration has been applied. So what's about auto levels? Um, auto levels work when we set into the record mode. We can set it in any direction if it gets lower than that. Uh, then it will adjust automatically. See, I will click automatic level button. It starts blinking and looking for levels. And now I'm starting playing the song. And it tries to understand the song level. To automatically set up the proper level. You see, it's increasing. So it's still, still working. It's still looking. So sometimes it's blinking. So I believe my tablet plays compressed version of the song. So this is a new scene with Amazon Music. You need to restart it to make it play HD version. Yeah, it's much better. Now, uh, let's see. It's working on levels all the time. If it will get higher, it will adjust. There is the same buttons on the remote control. So, for example, I can click Auto one again, and it will work over again to see the levels. Or I can adjust levels manually from the remote or from the front panel, you see? And if I get to high level, it's still like pressing auto, auto button will, will do the job for us. So it will adjust to the proper level. So that's why we are ready to start recording. We can just click pause button. I will reset counter for this deck and click pause button and it starts recording. I'm 
And I can use fader from front pedal or remotely. Like that. And put it back into pause. Now I'll stop recording. I use a counter memory function to rewind back to the beginning of our recording. And we can play back our recording. Okay, so like for the right deck, I will put the different type tape. It will be type 2. So I can do everything remotely. It's a spray, very nice deck and very nice remote control. The only thing like uh, I need to choose switch is uh, like Dolby system from the front panel. So I can use Dolby S for example. Uh, to do proper recording, I will do calibration for tape. B here and I can start actually from remote control like that okay it's almost ready I'm reducing the recording level to zero still calibrating so it's ready so I'm resetting counter put memory mode put into the record mode and do after level start and recording Open recording, let's listen what we get with Dolby S from this deck.
Okay, you've heard how did record. So a couple more interesting things about this deck. It has pitch control. So for example, if you start playing tape, we can use pitch control. And we can adjust slower, like about like 50 or 40 percent slower or faster. Also, what I did like about this deck, so it do has a phone output and it still has a phone level control. There is a two buttons here on the right side. I've met a couple decks which didn't do that and sometimes like uh, it's too loud when you have a good recording on metal tape, it gets too loud on the phones. Um, so this probably the part one of this interesting scene. What else? It do, do have RMS system. And to start RMS we need to click button and you see it switches to the green mode and we can program a tape composition from for each side of the tapes. For example we like to hear the first one, third and eighth on the first side. Then we need to click reverse and we will listen second and fifth on the other side. And now the only thing we need to do is to start playback. And it will do everything automatically for us. That's how RMS system works. If I like to check during playback, let me reduce volume level because it's a test tape, there may be different tones recorded. Uh, if you like to check during playback our program, we can click here and see the current zone is playing. Uh, also, there is a possibility to display all songs which will be playing. So you see currently it plays song number one on the first side. And if you like, we can add more, like we can add a force, I believe. No? All right. So it's it's cannot be adjusted during playback, but that's that's how you may see it. So thanks for your attention. I hope you enjoyed it the same way as I did. It's a pretty nice deck. I just recently got it from Japan. Um, I did clean up and replaced pinch rollers. Uh, there are more things that. Uh, bells which are coming soon I will replace and put new bells into it and additionally even if it sounds well I like to make it sounds great so I will do the same as I did with Sony K5 I will replace capacitors to the high grade Nichicon capacitors of Muse series and Nichicon Gold for all audio tracts capacitors to make sure that it will get to the maximum possible extent. So far I check it, it has like not very expensive, like blue series of capacitors comparing to the brown which has been installed in the Sony K5. So I will install green one capacitors and then like we'll do recording to compare like before and after. Okay, I believe that's it for today. You see, the deck is beautiful. We can like fully control it remotely. I can do like almost everything. There's just a power button which needs to be pressed from the top of this model. Thanks again for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration video. And have a good night. Bye-bye.